Just weeks away from history on the Space Coast, a mission that normally would have drawn hundreds of thousands of people to the Cape. We first told you last night at 6 when NASA's administrator put out the warning, though, for crowds to stay away. Tonight, News 6's James Barvero is looking at the impact of the lack of tourism and what it could do to businesses already struggling. Rocket launch visitors need a place to stay and they need a place to eat. Usually we're full for the launches. Titusville Bed and Breakfast Casa Coquina and restaurant Pier 220 offer direct views of Kennedy Space Center, but because NASA is asking tourists not to come for next month's first astronaut mission in nine years, Brevard County predicts a revenue loss that could be in the tens of millions. How worried have you been just about getting by? It's a concern. <laughs> we haven't gotten any of the stimulus money yet at all. Co-owner Ginny Fitzpatrick says this was a record sales year for her bed and breakfast up until the pandemic. We refunded almost $20,000 in deposits. Deposits that are starting to return thanks to the big launch. Ginny says she's already nearly booked for May 27th. And it's going to depend on what the government says we can do, whether the state or the county keep restrictions up. Right now, tourists are not allowed to get a room in Brevard County. And restaurants can only serve takeout or delivery. What's going to make this so bizarre is that we're having this huge event without the fanfare and pageantry. We'll just have to figure out a way to make it work. I, I'm sure we will. The county's tourism ban runs as long as the state's stay at home order, which right now we expect to end the 1st of May. The county has not said yet if it will extend its tourism ban another month to cover the launch. In Titusville, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, Getting Results News 6.